Hey guys, it's Felix from Bars and Cigars, ATL. Hey, and today I am joined with a very special guest. Uh, because you're probably wondering who this is, you should know by now. This is a world-renowned photographer, videographer, owner of Made You Look Photography, and a curator of coffee, whiskey, provisions, Montoya Turner. Hey, man, thanks for joining me yeah, today. Appreciate it, sir. Hey, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Hey, 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 guys, uh, the reason he's with me, and not only is he a whiskey lover as well, a cigar lover as well, but we both had the pleasure of uh, of actually being there at the release of the whiskeys that we're presenting to you today. Uh, if you don't know, this is Short Barrel Whiskey. They've been around for a while, but I tell you, tell us a little bit more about Short Barrel. The Short Barrel story is amazing. Short Barrel started off as a bourbon club, a group of friends who obviously, like a lot of us, enjoy tasting spirits and sharing, that kind of thing, but these gents, all of a sudden started picking bottles for specific stores here in our area within the region. You, we started to see that sticker and know that they were doing store picks for specific stores. And those picks were out of control. Amazing, amazing, amazing store picks. And we're big proponents of store picks. Um, by all means, visit Short Barrel online, Instagram, and you'll learn their complete story. But now these guys are blending whiskeys. And what they're doing, and these are all exclusives, by the way, but what they're doing now is incredible. And this that we're going to review today um, is their latest iteration, and it looks like they're putting their bloody prowess to the test, so we're going to find out. Absolutely. So, as he mentioned, this is their latest review, but you may have seen Bee's Knees before. They came out with the Bee's Knees 1 uh, and the Bee's Keeper, uh, both basically young whiskeys finished in honey barrels and uh, and bottled. With this one, they actually stepped it up and this is the Bee's Knees 2. So you don't have two releases, you just have one. But uh, with this one, you're dealing with a five year old uh, whiskey from Kentucky that was uh, straight whiskey with four grade char on the barrels and a combination of that with a four year Bardstown whiskey uh, that was uh, toasted uh, for roughly blended with the Kentucky whiskey for about 45 days. The blend itself is made up of 70% corn, 21% uh, rye, and the rest is malted barley. So again, you have a five and a half year uh, Green River Kentucky whiskey, you have a four year Bardstown toasted barrel whiskey, blended together and then finished off in uh, a local wildflower and Tupelo honey barrel. So. As we normally do, we're gonna break down the uh, nosing of the whiskey. Then we're gonna to go to the palate and then finally give a uh, our summary review. Absolutely. Right, so let's get it to it. Fresh cork pop. Ooh. Yep, gotta love it. Oh yeah, that, 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 that? that's, that's the music right there. Come on with it. Instead of just using industry run of the mill honey, they actually went with a honey uh, maker, a, a artisan honey maker. So let's get it to it. First off, that honey is in the color. It is a bright golden uh, whiskey, nice kind of orange amber kind of undertone to it, but definitely light and shiny, just like if you poured warm honey into a glass. What are your thoughts? Man, first off, they may not pick it up on film, but that tells you everything you need to know. This color is amazing, and I'm nowhere near it. My non nose is already getting it, and it's, it's yeah, we're gonna find out. But yeah, I love the color. color Speaking of nose, let's nose it. Let's nose it. <laughs> it is. Woo! Had to do a big flare on it. It is a uh, tablespoonful of honey. Uh, you get the Tupelo honey, the wildflower honey. You know how when you you know when you were young and you were coughing, you couldn't stop coughing, and then your grandmother come in and give you a tablespoon of honey. That's exactly that's it. what we got right here, except for the grown up, yeah, grown -up this, version. This is an adult that. version of that. Right. Loving the nose. Oh my god. Very distinct on the honey. That sharp, bright honey scent. Oh, wow. I really do like it. Uh, again, that's the difference between artisan honey and um, and industry honey. You're definitely going to get all of that profile. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Well, let's see how yeah. it goes on the taste. There are 
there's a surprising amount of texture um, to this whiskey. So let's go to the palate and explore that more. You're going to get that coating of honey all over the tongue, roof of the mouth. Uh, that brightness from the flower and the actual uh, honey, it's in the profile. It actually rises up into the nostrils. Uh, yeah, this is basically, I mean, a really sharp cooked down honey. Uh, it blends with the whiskey very well, so you still get notes of vanilla. You still get that that toasted char, so it's a little bit of that caramel and, and oak in it. The oak is not lost in this at all. Yeah. And um, and it's that sweet oak. And I'll tell you, the other thing is the finish. Mm. Front, mid, back palette, and the finish is long like train smoke. Oh, this is, it's... The pepper, that spice, mm -hmm. it's, it's, this is, hold on, I gotta go back. This is yeah, now I think the proof on this one is uh, 114. So I love where the proof is. Uh, it gives it's a you perfect proof. Gives you enough of that warmth and that finish that if you're an experienced whiskey drinker, you're gonna, you're gonna love that. Also, because of the honey, and that sweetness, that just natural sweetness, it's not artificial at all. You're, if you're a new whiskey drinker or just kind of used to maybe more lighter proofs, it still gives you enough of that comfort and that sweetness uh, that you'll be able to kind of sit down and sit with it without it being overbearing or too hot for you. Wow. And the 114 gives you all the depth, all the dimension. The whiskey does not get lost in the honey. So it's a whiskey forward. The bourbon's all there, so it's not lost. But the mouthfeel, and for me, like I said, I'm a sucker for a great finish. And this finish and the texture and the tingle and the warmth, the warm Kentucky hug, it's, it's, it's all there. It's all, it's, it's it all, all it's, there. It's and all there. Normally, to them. And, and about this time of year, you see a lot of maple finish, a lot of honey finish, a lot of that thick, sweet finish just because of the holiday season or end of the year. This one is blended very well. Uh, summary of this, I think the pricing is a little north of 100. It's a little north of 100. Sealbox had it for 120. It sold out. It's gone. It doesn't exist yeah. anymore. It should be in stores now, so it's going to be stores, priced. But it's, uh, if you see it, you need to grab a bottle. So the retails, like I said, I think 120 should be where the retail stops at. But if you see it, and you know, finished whiskeys, I'm gonna summarize like this. If I see this, yeah, I would buy this over and over, and I did buy it, so I will buy this over and over again. Um, but finished whiskeys, we talk about this all the time. It's love or hate. So either it's yeah. done extremely well, or I don't want no parts of it. Yeah. This is amazingly done. So, and like I said, even though, like I said, we know the gents, no bias at all. If you suck, yeah. I tell them it's up. But yeah, yeah. This, this doesn't suck. <laughs> and this we paid is, for the ticket to get there, so. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what they've done with this. Is the, every now and then you get a whiskey that's truly unique and truly exceptional. And I've had some honeys, and uh, in fact, maybe they will, we got a King's Rack kind of honey. Maybe we'll do a head-to-head uh, -head with another That would be good to do a head-to-head so, -head side by but side. This so. is the most honey forward that doesn't lose the whiskey that I've ever had. I've had about four. So this is this is incredible. So. so guys, if you see short barrel again, if you're here local in Atlanta, you'll definitely see it. I don't know exactly all the markets that they're in, but reach out to them, follow them on Instagram. Uh, again, we have other iterations that they have. We'll be drinking through those as well. Smash so, the like button. Yeah, smash the like button, follow uh, Short Barrel, follow Bars and Cigars, follow uh, Coffee, Whiskey, and Provisions, follow Made You Look, and again, stay tuned for more whiskey cigar reviews. Oh, actually spirit reviews. Let's do it. We're going to do some scotch, some cognacs as well. So guys, stay tuned. This is the Bees Knees 2 by Short Barrel. This is Felix from Bars and Cigars. This is my Toya from Coffee, Whiskey, and Provisions. And salute.